Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshi1913, and we are Let's Playing Dragon Quest 3. What? Uncle Ortega? Yeah, in the last episode, we continued exploring Alfgard, learning what we need to do. Wow, jeez, Ortega's around. Anyways, let's look at this new equipment I'm not going to buy right away. I will eventually buy some equipment, but I'm going to wait. Alright, so we got a great helm. Ogre shield, we're not going to buy that for Sophie because she she's going to get a better shield. Great helm, I'll probably buy for because she doesn't get a better helmet. Bastard sword, really good sword. Probably the best sword you can buy for a warrior if you have one of them. Falcon sword, now these babies are interesting because you can actually attack twice with them. Making your chance to defeat a metal babble uh, doubly better, I guess. Let's see. Alright, so let's collect the treasures. Yeah, it's... Okay, Rubis, huh? Ooh, another Zen book. You know what that means. We can turn another person into a sage if we wanted to. We can use it for two people. Uh-huh. So Rubius is being held prisoner against her own will. You know, there's small metal and a golden beak. So it looks like we'll have to, per uh, we'll have to, uh, I don't know, save her, Rubius there. Alright, is that everything? Yeah, as, uh, as all these guys are telling us, you know, Rubius isn't around, she's in trouble, we need to save her and all that. And what the hell was they saying? So yeah, metal babbles, you can use those falcon swords, pretty cool. Nothing. How many more treasures are there? Three, okay. Let us check over here. Nothing, really. This is odd, huh? Where the hell is everything? Oh no, poor Ortega. My dad, there's no way he could... Oh, look, there's where they are. He ain't gonna drown in the ocean. If he's still alive, no water's gonna stop him. So let's, uh... Continue. That's, that was only two of them, right? Hey, it's that lady. Look at that. They're always waiting. They're always waiting. Aw, oh, damn it. Oh, no, I hate when we do that. Anyways, those two lavas are always waiting for each other. I guess. Anyways, we want to walk around here. Continue to use the seek out ability. There we go. Alright. Oh, they're, all three of them are over there. Actually, let's look for this a-hole. There he is. Yeah, the Sage's Stone is a pretty sweet item. If only we could find one, maybe two, huh? That would be lovely. And we got a Pachisi ticket. Yay! Another small metal. I wonder how many that brings us up to. Nothing particular. What the hell? No. Pot, damn it. No. What the hell? Isn't there supposed to be something in here? Aha! And we get a wisdom seed. We're gonna give that to Sophie. Alright. What the hell do you want? Hey, look at that. This is the guy that sells magic keys in the first game, except his are poorly made. And terribly constructed. So yeah, this is room, uh, room Lidar. Another town. Basically, if we go south from here, you know how in uh, whoops, you know how in Dragon Quest One there was actually a bridge going to that place, but there is no bridge this time. So, yeah, we're gonna have to uh, check out some other places. Basically, let us return to Tantacle or whatever the hell, Luda, Luda Torm. Cause we got some work to do. And yeah, you remember? You guys remember the cave to the north, where? It's supposed to be Erdrick's cave. Um, that is not true right now. There's plenty of tough baddies in there. I'm not gonna... Uh-oh. 
Fragons. These guys are a pain. Oh man. These guys can hit you up to three times. Oh god. If you have the defeat or beat spell, I would totally advise using it. Die, 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 die. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, look at this. These guys get to attack three times. It's not fair. But, uh, yeah. Look at this. We gotta kill them and kill them quick, because they're hard. They're very hard. Yeah, my group is so magically inept. It's awful. I should probably use thunder on them. Oh, well. They're almost gone. Kill them! Kill them! These guys have a lot of HP. As you can see, I just took away 300 and they're still not dead. There we go. Dear God. I hate the seas. Especially down in Alfgard. They are some of the hardest. Alright, let's keep going. I want to show you something neat. If we keep sailing any which way, north, south, east, or west, we land on this wall or something. Like, the world is... It's like a dark thing. Anyways, I think that's like a barrier, evil barrier, Zoma put around the world here. Because the continent is much... Or the whole world down here is much bigger, but... We'll never see it. Anyway, let's, let's sail go. north. There's Garnon's house. And yes, even the sailing music is the same, which is nice. No Ramia down here. We can't use her down here, sadly. Alright, we want to keep going. Where are we? Alright, we want to head down a little bit. Look at this, huh? Alright, there's some man of wars. Oops, wrong button. For some reason I'm thinking they're, they're, where the Staff of Rain places, there's supposed to be something, but I'm probably wrong. Anyways, if we come over here, <gasps> there's a tower. That must be that tower they're talking about. Ooh, here's some new enemies, Wing Demon. These guys are hard. They got all kinds of spells. Plus, they got a knife and a whip. Look at that. That's not fair. I don't get two weapons. Anyways, they're not too hard. I mean, they have some nasty spells. They but yeah, that must be the tower everyone's talking about. That Rubius is in. And finally, we make it to the last village of the, uh, <coughs> of the game. And this place is cold. Come on. Don't be a jerk, game. I'm trying to use that. This is the village of coal, which the fairy flute is in. And a highly skilled swordsmith. Excellent. Now, I'm not going to go down the well quite yet. <coughs> oh, that must have been one strong sword. And here we are with the final couple of items we can buy in the game. We can actually buy a blade armor now. Isn't that cool? Power knuckles. Good weapons for your uh, fighters if you have them. Water dresses, which are very good for your magical people like sages and mages and clerics and all that stuff. Silver shields are very good shields. I'll probably end up buying that. And sages staffs, which are pretty good, but I'm sure they won't work for my group. Basically, if you use it in battle, it will cast heal more. So that's pretty nice. You can use it to heal you yourself. So yeah, Zoma must really fear this sword, huh? Alright, so let's just keep seeking out. Ooh, there's a treasure over there. Hey, there's a guy over there. How do I get over there? Do I go this way? Look at this. Look at the cool forest back there. Are there people that live here? I mean, like, in the forest. And, like, literally in the trees, like, elves and stuff. Anything over here? No. Nope. Just this guy, though. Hey, guy, what's happening? Yeah, she's sealed in the tower, but we're not going there right away. We're actually... Here's the here's the path. Well, here's the way we're... Well, we'll I'll show you what the hell we're going to be doing soon. You'll find out. So let's check right here. How about right here? We get another small metal. Hey, old man, you taking a bath, huh? 
No, I want to talk to the old... Can I go in the bath? Yeah, I would love to. No, I want to take a bath. Aww. Well, I mean, if you throw in some stuff. But anyways, if we go here and we look over here, we get a fairy flute, just like in Dragon Quest 1. Yay! No trust, no chests over here. Yeah, maybe, uh, yeah, well, we do have the light orb. Alright, where the hell is all this crap? I thought there was another thing. Hey, look at this lady. She looks like she's from Jim Hang Yu and Orochi and all that. Oh, so her husband used to be a incredible swordsmith. And was just stealing their clothes. You know how it is. You know how it is when you gotta steal. And he, ooh, right there. Right in the middle. Nice. Another Pachisi ticket. Jeez. Oh, well, it looks like Kandar is still up to his ways. Oh, the King's Sword is made of Orkelum. I have that. I wonder. I wonder. Where's the other chest, huh? Ah, we'll look for it in a bit. Anyways, let's go up here. Basically, how this baby works... And I know exactly where these two are, I think. Yes, in these satchels. We get ourselves another small medal. And a Pachisi ticket. Anyways, basically... This guy is a fabled swordsmith, and he sells not very good stuff. But, if we sell him the Orkelum, and then we do the old, hey, you know, he's going to make us the Sword of Kings. One of the three pieces of equipment that Zoma fears. So that's pretty cool, and what we have to do is basically go in and out of the town. What the hell is that last one? There's one more frickin' treasure. Where is it? Where is this treasure? Is it in the inn? No, where the hell is it? Aha! I should have known it was up here. And we get a mystic nut. Yeah, but look at those trees in the back. I'm assuming people must live there or something. Damn, I got too many items again. Uh, this goes to Sophie. More MP equals more heal us all. More wisdom equals more MP for more heal us all. That's how it goes. So anyways, if we go back down here. And over here. We can talk to this guy now. And look what he sells. The Sword of Kings for Sophie. Yeah, and it can cast Infermost in battle. So that is pretty sweet. Yeah, tidy up her inventory because she wants to equip that. And so now we have one of the three legendary pieces of equipment needed to defeat Zoma. Uh, Thunder Sword. Actually, I want to say that it is like the bolts uh, thing, and you can use it in battle, even if you can't equip it. So, there we go. We got ourselves the first piece of equipment. And let me think for a second. Yeah, okay. Oh, I want to show you something cool. Let's, uh, bust it. Whoops. Let's start tiptoeing. Let's head south. I wonder if that cave connecting uh, the two lands is ready. It probably isn't, but we can check it out anyways. Alright, let's keep walking down here. Yeah, and we can't get inside the interior uh, area of this uh, place. Ooh, we can't get inside the interior area of this place because uh, the sh there are shoals all around the world. Oh, I forgot to do something over in coal. Nah, we'll go back. Alright, so... Yeah, this is actually the swamp cave that Princess Gwalian is eventually going to be stuck in. 
I want to say that it's probably going to be over here. No? Let's see. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah, this is where Thief really helps out. Aha! And we get another small metal. Man, we are collecting the hell out of these. And these guys really want to reach Rimudar. Well, you guys are pretty close. A little more digging, you should be there. Alright, so let us return to Alahan and get ourselves another item, hopefully. Because I collected a lot. Hopefully enough to get the next item, and then, oh man, I was looking up, one of the pieces of armor that we get over here is like really, really good, so I, oh man, if I can get that, that'd be sweet. But there's still plenty of places we haven't visited. Well, actually not a lot, but there's a few left in the world. Hello, I would like to give you all the small metals I've been collecting. Yes, we get a vivified staff. Oh, I need four more of the sacred bikinis. A very, 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 very good piece of equipment. And none of these ladies can be equipped with it, but I am going to give it to Stella, and I'm going to try it out in battle and see if it works. Anyways, in the next episode, we're going to head back to Cole because there's something that I missed, and it's going to be madness. This has been Kenshin1913, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.